ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜிய திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜிய திருவடிகளே சரணம் இனவ ஸ்ரீ வைஷ்ணவ குரு பரம்பரை நஞ்சி எரிஸ் அன் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஆச்சாரியா ஹி இஸ் அ டியர் டிசைபிள் ஆஃப் பராசர பட்டர் லெட் அஸ் என்ஜாய் ஹிஸ் லைஃப் அண்ட் குளோரிஸ் நவ் நஞ்சியர் வாஸ் பார்ன் இன் திருநாராயணபுரம் ரீஜியன் திருநாராயணபுரம் இஸ் ஆல்சோ நோன் அஸ் மேல்கோட்டை a very dear place for shri ramanuja he was born in panguni month uttaram nakshatram when he was born he was named shri madhava by his parents he underwent all the proper samskaras at the right ages he became a great advaita scholar he defeated many scholars and remained in tirunarayanapuram with great popularity even emberumanar ramanujar wanted to debate with madhava and bring him into our sri vaishnava sampradayam but unfortunately emberumana could not do it due to his old age and he ascended to paramapadam without fulfilling that desire at the time of ascending to paramapadam emberumana announces that he would like shri madhava to be brought into our sampradayam after emberumana's times it was parashara bhattar who was a dear disciple of ember who set out to go on debate with shri madhava we already saw this incident in parashara bhattar's life it was an amazing expedition by parashara bhattar he started to tirunarayanapuram being seated in his palanquin surrounded by many disciples but as he reached near Sri Rangapatnam, it was Anantalwan who spotted Parashara Bhattar. Anantalwan had great affection for Parashara Bhattar. He informed Parashara Bhattar that he should not go to Sri Madhava's place in this manner as the disciples of Madhava would stop Parashara Bhattar in the entrance and prolong Parashara Bhattar. he stay for a very long period to demotivate parashara bhatta from debating with shri madhava so parashara bhatta dresses up like a poor brahmana goes to the place where he where shri madhava performs tadiyaradhanam he does not consume the food there he keeps waiting shri madhava observes parashara bhatta standing there even madhava had heard about parashara bhatta and his glories so madhava comes and approaches parashara bhatta and asks what he needs why he is not eating and parashara bhatta says he wants to debate with madhava madhava realizes that it must be parashara bhatta who has the greatness to challenge madhava as the debate starts parashara bhatta explains from vedam and vedantam 
and Alvars Pasarams. All the important principles of Vishishta Dvaita Siddhanta, Madhava becomes convinced and at once falls at the divine feet of Parasharabhatta and accepts Parasharabhatta as his Acharya. Madhava is so grateful to Parasharabhatta for having come all the way from Sri Rangam to Tirunarayanapuram and at that time Madhava tells Parasharabhatta that he sees Periya Perumal Sri Ranganatha in Parasharabhatta. He thanks Parasharabhatta profusely saying Parasharabhatta being the divine son of Periya Perumal himself has come all the way ignoring all the difficulties just to give his blessings. Parasharabhatta continues to explain the important principles of our Sampradayam and takes leave from Tirunarayanapuram. Sri Madhava stays back in Tirunarayanapuram. He had two wives, but they were not too favorable towards Madhava's interest towards Sri Vaishnavam. Madhava was also greatly wealthy. He divided his wealth into three parts. He gave both his wives one part each. He took the remaining part of wealth and went directly to Sri Parasharabhatta in Sri Rangam. He offered obeisances and offered all the wealth to Parasharabhatta. On the way, he also took up Sanyasa Ashrama. And because of that, as he surrendered to Parasharabhatta, Parasharabhatta lifted Madhava up and embraced him and claimed that Madhava will be called as Nanjir, our Jir. Nanjir was greatly blissful. He started learning from Parasharabhatta again. Divya Prabandham, all the meanings for the Pasurams and so on. Being a great scholar, he quickly learns Divya Prabandham and the deep meanings of Divya Prabandham. He also composes several commentaries. Importantly, he composes the Commentary of Umdadanaira Padi, 9000 Padi, for Thiruvai Muri, based on the orders of Parasharabhatta. Nanjir explained the meanings of Thiruvai Muri in the form of lectures for about 100 times during his lifetime. That was his Greatness. He was so immersed in Divya Prabandham and the meanings of Divya Prabandham. He also had great Acharya Bhakti. He was totally surrendered to his Acharya Parashrabhatta. We can see a few incidents in his life which demonstrate this. Once Parashrabhatta was being carried in his palanquin. At that time, Nanjir arrives there. He was holding his Tridandam in his one hand and he tried to carry Parashrabhatta's palanquin. At that time, Parashrabhatta says, Oh Jiya, you are not supposed to do this. As you are a sannyasi, you should not serve me in this manner. Hearing this, Nanjiya says, if my sannyasa ashramam and the tridandam comes as an interference for service towards you, 
I will break this Tridandam. Such was his devotion towards his Acharya. Another time, Nanjiyar had a big garden. Once, Nanjiyar's disciples came and complained that there are some disturbances from Butter's family in the garden. For that, Nanjiya replies to them, this whole garden and all my wealth exist for the sake of Parashara Butter and his family. Never consider them as disturbance. Another wonderful incident is also seen in Nanjiya's life. It is a practice that an Acharya would rest placing his head on the lap of the disciple. Once Parashar Bhattar placed his head on the lap of Nanjiyar and rested for a long time. Nanjiyar remained still without moving for the whole time. After a while, Butter woke up and saw Nanjiyar's total dedication. He became very pleased and immediately instructed the meanings of Dvaya Mahamantram one more time. We need to understand that it is customary for the Acharya to explain the meanings of Dvaya Mahamantram to the Sishya whenever the Acharya is pleased with the behavior of the disciple. There is another wonderful incident. Nanjiyar, as we saw, being a great scholar, memorized Divya Prabandham and the meanings very quickly. Parashara Bhattar used to recite Katiyam in front of Periya Perumal and Namperumal during occasions. During this Katiyam recital, Parashara Bhattar would quote pasrams from Alvar's Divya Prabandhams. For that, he would ask periodically Nanjiyar to recite some pasrams and will select one pasram or two pasrams from what Nanjiyar recites. Once, when Parashara Bhattar asked Nanjiyar to recite a pasram, Nanjiyar recited a pasuram, an important pasuram from Tiruvaimudi Kangulam Pagalam Padigam. The ten pasurams which are focused on Periya Perumal directly. In that Padigam, Dashakam, the ninth pasuram is Yen Tirumagal Ser Marvane Yennum Yennudai Aviye Yennum. Najiya recites this Together, en tirumagal ser marvane ennum ennude aviye ennum. If they are recited separately, it just mean that, Oh, my dear Lord, who has Sri Mahalakshmi in your chest. The second portion explains that, Oh, one who is my life. But when they are recited together, as done by Nanjiyar, in a unique way, that means you are my life because you are having Sri Mahalakshmi in your chest. This is what is said by Alvar here. Hearing the way Nanjiya recited that Pasuram, Butter becomes ecstatic and at once becomes unconscious. After a while, he becomes awakened. And then greatly celebrates Nanjiyar for reciting the Pasuram in that manner, giving out a beautiful meaning. In this manner, Butter and Nanjiyar had many wonderful conversations. Nanjiyar often asked very intelligent questions to Parashara Butter, and Parashara Butter had given very beautiful answers to them. Let us see some of those conversations. 
Najir once asked Parashar Bhattar, Why are Alvars always being greatly attached to Krishna? Why not on other incarnations? For that, Bhattar said, Usually, we all remember incidents which occurred most recently. Since Bhagavan's most recent incarnation is his Krishna Avatara, all of us have great affiliation towards Krishna Avatara. Another time, Nanjir asked a beautiful question from Periyatirumuri. Thirumanga Alvar, towards the end of Periyatirumuri, in the Dashakam named Urnal Sutram, performs Mangala Shasanam to many Divideshams in the same Dashakam. When asked why he was doing that, Butter replies, just as a newly married girl would quickly go and inform all the neighbors and relatives before leaving to her husband's place, Tirumangyalwar is getting ready to leave to Paramapadam. So he is informing all the Divideshya Embermans at once quickly. That is why he is performing Mangala Shasanam for many Divideshams towards the end of this Prabandham. Another time, Nanjir asked a beautiful question from Mahabali's life where Bhagavan comes as Vamana and accepts the three worlds from Mahabali. Nanjir asked, why did Mahabali go to Pathala and why did Sukracharya lose his eye? Butter said, because Mahabali ignored the instructions of his Acharya, he went to Pathada. And because Sukracharya stopped Mahabali from performing charitable work, he lost his eye. Another time, Najir asked a beautiful question from Sri Ramavatara. He asked, Dasharatha was greatly attached to Peruma, Sri Rama. He even gave up his life when Perumal went to the forest. Still, he only ascended to Svarga, heaven, not to Paramapadam. Nanjir asked, why did this happen? And Butter said, for the act of sending Sri Rama to forest, Dasharada should have ideally been sent to hell. But being the father of Sri Rama, it would be unfair to see Dasharatha in hell. That is why he was given heaven. In this manner, Butter and Anjir had many wonderful conversations, which bring out the deep principles from Shastram. It was these conversations which helped Nanjir write commentaries for many Prabandhams in a beautiful way. When Nanjir wanted to write the commentary for Tiruvaimudi, he looked out for persons who could document a fair copy from his original copy. At that time, Nambur Varadacharya who was regularly attending Nanjiya's Kalakshepam, was nominated from the Goshti by a few devotees. It was Nambur Vardacharya who wrote the fair copy for Nanjiya's Onbadanara Padi Vyakyanam for Tiruvaimudi. We have already seen this in detail in Nambilai's life. It was because of the great pleasure which Nanjir acquired on seeing Nambur Vardacharya's writing of the Ondadanaira Padi. He gave the title Nambillai to Nambur Vardacharya and Nambillai became the dearest disciple of Nanjir. Towards the end of Nanjir's lifetime in this world, 
another acharya named petri came to nanjier he asked if nanjier had any desire at that time nanjier said he wanted to hear tu viriya malarulakki dashakam from periya tirumuli in this dashakam tirumugalvar sets out to send a messenger to perumal but being very tender and fragile tirumugalvar could only compose four pasarams in this dashakam for sending messenger after that he gave up he became so weak nanjir had great attachment for this particular dashakam and he asked petri that he would like to dis- hear this dashakam based on nanjir's desire the arayar swami recites this dashakam in front of namberumal in the presence of nanjir nanjir becomes greatly joyed in hearing the dashakam from arayar swami and became very emotional nanjir also prayed to namberumal that he would like to see namberumal's full form the bodily beauty fully this only occurs in privacy only archakas can see embermans full form during tirumanjanam and so on but based on nanjiyas desire nambermal manifests his full form to nanjiyar having had that wonderful darshan nanjiyar returns to his mat gives final instructions to all his disciples and then ascends to paramapadam such was nanjiyar's great attachment towards emberman alvars and acharyas we saw a little glimpse of nanjiyar's life and glories alvar emberman jiyar tiruvadigale sharanam jiyar tiruvadigale sharanam please download our koil k o y i l app from google play store or apple app store to listen to or download upanyasams like these our website portal is k o y i l . o r g koil .org